So, I remember being a kid and peeking around my doorway while my parents watched the first Jurassic Park movie because I wasn't old enough to watch the whole thing because, you know, it gets pretty scary. But I remember seeing the opening scenes with the Brachiosaur just, just in the distance and everybody is just freaking out seeing dinosaurs for the first time and it was amazing and it was magical. And then I remember finally being old enough to watch it, my best friend Sean being over and us popping in that VHS tape and being amazed, just mystified by what we were watching on, in, on the screen in front of us. And this movie managed to destroy all of that in one night, one night. So I'm not trying to make it a, a habit of drinking when I do video reviews, but you know, sometimes you just, whoo. All right, so before we get into the spoilers, as per usual, I'm just gonna give you guys the low down dirty um, of this this movie and, and the review. And it's, it's pretty rare for me to feel so strongly about a movie that I tell people not to watch it. But uh, I kinda wanna tell people not to watch this. So if you love dinosaurs, if you love the original Jurassic Park movie, um, and it, or even if you are like into animals, if you're like an animal person, don't watch this movie. Just don't. Just save your, save your money. Save your $12. Save your time. Time is valuable. It's not worth it being sad. Um, I've had a couple of people ask how it fares against uh, Lost World, which I don't even hate as a movie. I don't like it as much. Obviously, it's nowhere near as good as the first movie, and it's definitely not as good as its book counterpart. Um, but this movie is like uh, the Lost World's little brother that was born stupid and then used as a basketball for its entire adolescence. And now it's grown up and you paid money to watch it. So I knew this movie was gonna be sad before I even went to see it. The trailer, especially the second trailer, actually had me not wanting to see it. But I love Jurassic Park. I was gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. If everything passed what I saw in the trailer ended up being okay, sure, I'm sure it's gonna be fine. But somehow the, it gets worse. So basic premise of this is that the island the Jurassic World was on was built on an active volcano. And now the volcano is going to erupt. So they are supposed to go save some of these dinosaurs to help bring them to an animal sanctuary. But of course, something goes wrong and then we get this movie. And I feel like a lot of people thought it was gonna be really similar to the Jurassic World, sorry, the Lost World plot, but no. So let's kind of break down a couple things. Uh, villain, terrible. Uh, there's nothing I hate more in a movie than a villain that, unless it's ironically, will sit there and explain things to you. Will flat out just explain plot points and things. And there's nothing I hate more than plot points being explained to you that make no sense, that have no tie-in or value to the movie. You're gonna get that. There's gonna be some weird shit that happens in this movie and it is just not okay. Not to mention whoever, I don't even know who the actor was for the villain. Let me look this up right now. He was terrible, let's look him up. So it's played by a guy named Rafe Spall. You're terrible, you can't act. I don't know if it was the writing, but I think it was you. Honestly, the only really redeeming people in this movie were Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. Um, a lot of the stuff they had to do was stupid because I think that the writing was that bad. There's two schmucks in charge of the writing here and they're schmucks. Schmucks, I say, just bad. Just bad. I've basically been stewing on this movie for two hours while driving home, like, it's building. The kid is okay, other than something that involves her storyline, which is stupid, but honestly, for a child actor, she was good. And until like the very end of the movie, I was like, damn, they managed to put a kid in this and not make the kid too annoying or too stupid. Good shit, finally. But for once they succeeded, then it gets stupid again. Um, so yeah, just for like the basic ass review, um, I would say, I honestly would say, don't watch it. If you're a fan of Jurassic Park, don't watch it. This isn't even one of those like, oh, if you have nothing better to do on like a Sunday afternoon, maybe go see. It's like, no, this is literally going to crush your childhood and make you sad, cause I'm sad and it's stupid. Like basically what isn't depressing is stupid. Those are your choices in this movie. You either get depressing or you get stupid. And so like any minor cool moments where you're like, oh, that's kind of exciting. And oh, I'm on the edge of my seat. is just surrounded in stupid. So then when you actually stop to think about what happened, you're like, Damn, that was stupid. Because there's no redeeming qualities for someone who actually likes dinosaurs or Jurassic World. So from this point on, we're going to spoiler zone. So if you don't want spoilers, back the fuck out of this video, but now we are going in. So, number one, I knew this was gonna be depressing. You see dinosaurs dying in the trailer. You see dinosaurs drowning. 
I knew I didn't need to see dinosaurs drowning, but then seeing it in a movie let me know I really did not need to see the dinosaurs drowning. That is something that I never needed to see in my life. That is something I never want to see in my life, but I did. And now I have to live with that being in my life. But it gets worse. It gets worse somehow. So they're all escaping off the island. So the whole point was they were gonna take a handful of the species, get them off the island as they could, and just leave them in this new island sanctuary that they have somehow managed to acquire. Some rich dude managed to acquire an island. And I'm like, cool, dinosaur sanctuary, sick. There's totally all sorts of stuff that could go bad in this. We can have a good classic Jurassic Park story here, but no. So they get a bunch of them off the island and then it turns out that, oh my God, some guy is actually gonna fucking, they're, gonna, they're double crossing the situation. So they managed to escape onto this boat with all these bad dudes and then back on the fucking dock, there's a brachiosaur just walking towards them, escaping the fucking volcano lava destruction that is happening to this island. And it is the saddest thing because it is dying and it is sad and it is trying to get on the boat. I'm gonna cry because it was sad. And then it does this thing where it's trying to escape the smoke and the debris by getting on its back legs and it mirrors the scene from the first one where it's on its back legs eating food, except instead of being a beauty of life, it is destruction, but not in a good way. Infinity War was sad as hell, but it at least had like a payoff. It had a purpose. It had a reason to be sad as hell. And I was okay with it being sad as hell. This was just fucking gratuitous. This was gratuitous depression and dinosaur killing. So then you think, well, well now that they're off the island, the dinosaurs that are with them that are off the island, it's all gonna be fine, it's gonna be cool. But no, you'd be wrong because they're gonna fucking torture the dinosaurs. They're gonna put them in tiny little fucking cages that are too small for them. And like this psycho dude's gonna start stealing their teeth like some kind of fucking serial killer to make a necklace. So he's just ripping out animal teeth and, and they're torturing them and they're not feeding them enough and they're like shocking them for no reason just to get reactions out of them and they're stuffing them in little cages and then, and then instead of bringing them to this animal sanctuary, they bring them to a house. They bring them to a house in Northern California, which looked surprisingly like Manhattan. Like this could have been fucking Professor Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. It somehow underneath it has a dinosaur holding pen that looks like it could hold average animals, like lions and shit. But no, they're gonna stuff like T-Rex and you know, somehow they had a brachiosaur in there. I don't know where the fuck they put it. I don't know how the fuck they got it on these tiny little trucks, but somehow they got them there. I shove them in these little cages somehow under this house and start selling them to the highest bidders from around the world because they still have to get stuck on that stupid fucking military application side story that was so stupid from the first one that everyone hated and then bring it back into this one. And then of course, dinosaurs themselves can't just be scary anymore. My cat just pulled some bullshit. Dinosaurs themselves can't just be scary anymore. You need genetically engineered dinosaurs. So they genetically engineer this fucking thing with half the Indominus Rex DNA mixed with more regular raptor DNA to become the Indoraptor, which is smaller than the Indominus Rex, but infinitely more terrifying and has a yellow streak instead of a blue streak. Cause you know, what's kind of funny about that, about the, the color scheme, the, the opposites thing. So like the opposite, so if you stared at something blue and then closed your eyes, you'd see yellow because they're on the opposite ends of the color wheel. Isn't that so creative? Isn't it so creative? So yeah. Then even if we do accept the fact that it's for some fucking reason they want to use dinosaurs in the military, if we, get, if we can just get on board with that, which I can't, but if we can get on board with that, they set up this thing, this Indoraptor, so that they show a demonstration where you just target someone with this laser and then hit this sonic button and then it's just gonna attack anything that has a laser on it and kill it. Let me get this straight. You have to be close enough to something to put a laser sight on it and then you hit a sonic button and then a dinosaur goes and kills it. But if you already have the laser sight on it, couldn't you just shoot it? Like of the things that are more practical than dinosaurs, we've got actual human beings with guns and drones. I get that maybe it was just supposed to be a tech demonstration or something, but if I can already train, a if I already have sights on another human being, I can fucking shoot them. And then the whole reason why they need blue, the main reason why all these people become like, why, specifically why Owen is involved in this is that they need to get Blue off the island because they see that Blue can control the other animals. So this dinosaur has 
Blue's DNA in it. So, or they're planning on putting Blue's DNA in it. They only make sense in that they say that the only way, this is the prototype, and when they make the full one, the full one will listen to Blue. So they need Blue. Blue only listens to Owen. So what is the purpose of having the dinosaur that can control the other dinosaur if you don't have the human that can control the second dinosaur? So you just have two dinosaurs that are trying to kill you, and the second one listens to the first one. Like, oh, I don't know, what the fuck is the purpose here? So we're gonna get into the the, the, the reveal, the stupid ass fucking spoiler reveal from Mr. Bad Guy. So the kid, the kid, they just kind of talk a lot about how the kid looks exactly like the mom, but the mom died in a car accident and uh, this is the granddaughter. Um, and then uh, Mr. Bad Guy, when he's trying to say like, you know, come Maisie, come with me. Come with me, Maisie. And they're like, no, we're gonna take the kid because like you're fucking psychotic and going to jail, so we'll take the kid. She, he's like, oh, you wanna take care of her? You don't even know what she is. I don't know why I'm giving him like a Southern American accent, but that's just where I'm going right now. It's like, and then they, he literally explains out that she's a clone for no reason. There was no reason for that reveal in that moment. There was no reason for any of that. And then the movie just continues. It just continues on, and then at the very end, when the dinosaurs are dying because of the ventilation system and they're being killed with, at, like, fucking gas, which is super sad, and I didn't want to see that either, then everything starts opening, like, the main door starts opening, and the little girl's like, they deserve to live because I'm alive, or some shit like that. And then they go, and that was the tie-in. The only way that that reveal could have been saved was if, because she was a clone, some kind of similar DNA structure that went into making her went into making this other dinosaur. So other, so instead of Blue actually being the mother, this kid Maisie is the mother. And there was a couple moments where it almost seemed like they were doing like that. Like in the beginning, the Indominus Rex just kind of like reaches out and like, not the Indominus, the, yeah, the Indoraptor. The Indoraptor just reaches out and kind of like strokes her hair. And then at the end when it gets into, like at one point when it gets into a room and doesn't just immediately destroy her, you're like, oh shit, it's trying not to kill her. But then there's like a bunch of these other scenes where it's like hunting her down super aggressively and definitely trying to kill her that just totally counter that. So that was the, the only thing that could have possibly made sense was if there was some kind of link between that kid being a clone and this fucking genetically modified monster. Literally. It was the only way they could have saved this. But they didn't, so it was just a cheap reveal, it was stupid, and it was just kind of like the show of, oh yeah, this is literally humanity going too far, making exact clones of people, not just dinosaurs now, except it was just revealed so cheaply and so passively that it had no meaning, and it was stupid, and this kid should be freaking out, not just like, they deserve to live because I do. You know, you go, if somebody fucking tells you you're a clone, you're probably gonna freak out, you're not just gonna be like, oh yeah, I guess I'm a clone, you're gonna be like, you're gonna be like fucking Luke Skywalker in, in fucking in the Empire. Not true. That's impossible. Just like that. Just like that you're gonna be. So this movie, oh and then at the end obviously all the dinosaurs escape into California and then you're like, oh look they're alive. Except it's sad because there's only a handful of them and obviously they're just gonna die. They're either gonna kill other animals, they're gonna kill people, and then they're just gonna be killed. So the whole thing's just fucking depressing. Just depressing. Also, there's a post credit scene and it's stupid. It's like a two second fucking scene of the fucking pterodons above a city with some sirens going showing that, oh look, they're making it to civilization, which you already saw at the end of the fucking movie when the T-Rex breaks through to the zoo and is like roaring at a lion that is roaring back at it and that there's the fucking, the fucking mosasaur in the fucking ocean when people are surfing. like. They're there! They're in civilization. We already saw that. I, and I wasted my fucking time. I wasted my fucking time waiting for that stupid end credit scene. If you, if you insist on seeing the movie, at least save your fucking time and don't sit through the end credits. Don't give them the satisfaction. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it. Um, like I said, it's not often that I like fully shit on movies and I'm pretty, pa I give things pretty passable grades. If it's average, I'm like, hey, it was a good time. But this, this destroyed my childhood. It made me sad. It was a waste of time. I feel worse for having watched it. And Steven Spielberg should be fucking ashamed that he allowed his name to be used as executive producer. And I know that's just like a thing. It's just like a figure thing, but still. It wasn't all a bad night though. I got this Steve with Bandana exclusive pop. That's pretty cool.